pilgrims progress by john banyan part 1 the ninth stage episode 11 hopeful but lord may such a great sinner as i am be indeed accepted of the and be saved by the and i heard him say and him that cometh to me i will in no wise cast out john 637 then i said but how lord must i consider of the in my coming to thee that my faith may be placed aright upon thee then he said christ jesus came into the world to save sinners first timothy 1:15 he is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes romans 10:4 and chapter 4 he died for our sins and rose again for our justification romans 4:25 he loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood revelations 1:5 he is the mediator between god and us first timothy 2:5 He ever liveth to make intercession for us Hebrews 7:25 from all which i gathered that i must look for righteousness in his person and for satisfaction for my sins by his blood that what he did in obedience to his father's law and in submitting to the penalty thereof was not for himself but for him that will accept it for his salvation and be thankful and now was my heart full of joy mine eyes full of tears and mine affections running over with love to the name people and ways of jesus christ christian this was a revelation of christ to your soul indeed but tell me particularly what effect this had upon your spirit hopeful it made me see that all the world notwithstanding all the righteousness thereof is in a state of condemnation it made me see that god the father though he be just can justly justify the coming sinner it made me greatly ashamed of the wildness of my former life and confounded me with the sense of my own ignorance but there never came a thought into my heart before now that showed me so the beauty of Christ Jesus it made me love a holy life and long to do something for the honor and glory of the name of the Lord Jesus yeah i thought that had i now a Yeah I thought that had I now a thousand gallons of blood in my body I could spill it all for the sake of the Lord Jesus I saw then in my dream that hopeful looked back and saw ignorance whom they had left behind coming after look said he to Christian 
how far yonder youngster loitereth behind christian ay ay i see him he careth not for our company hopeful but i throw it would not have hurt him but i trow it would not have hurt him had he kept pace with us hitherto christian that is true but i warrant you he thinketh otherwise hopeful that i think he doth but however let us tarry for him so they did then christian said to him come away man why do you stay behind ignorance i take my pleasure in walking alone even more a great deal than in company unless i like it the better then said christian to hopeful but softly did i not tell you he cared not for our company but however said he come up and let us talk away the time in this solitary place then directing his speech to ignorance he said come how do you do how stands in between god and your soul now ignorance i hope well for i am always full of good motions that come into my mind to comfort me as i walk christian what good motions pray tell us ignorance why i think of god and heaven christian so do the devils and damned souls so do the devils and damned souls ignorance but i think of them and desire them christian so do many that are never like to come there the soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing proverbs 13:4 ignorance but i think of them and leave all for them christian that i doubt for to leave all is a very hard matter yeah a harder matter than many are aware of but why or by what art thou persuaded that thou has left all for god and heaven ignorance my heart tells me so christian the wise man say he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool proverbs 28:26 ignorance that is spoken of an evil heart but mine is a good one christian but how dost thou prove that ignorance it comforts me in hopes of heaven christian that may be through its deceitfulness for a man's heart may minister comfort to him in the hopes of that thing for which he has yet no ground to hope ignorance but my heart and life agree together and thereby and therefore my hope is well grounded christian who told thee that thy heart and life agree together ignorance my heart tells me so christian ask my fellow if i be a thief thy heart tells thee so accept the word of god breathe witness in this matter other testimony is of no value ignorance but is it not a good heart that hath good thoughts and is not that a good life that is according to god's commandments christian yes that is a good heart that hath good thoughts and that is a good life that is accord according to that is according to god's commandments but it is one thing indeed to have these and another thing only to think so ignorance pray what count you good thoughts and a life according to god's commandments christian there are good thoughts of diverse kinds some respecting ourselves some god some christ and some other things ignorance what be good thoughts respecting ourselves christian such as agree with the word of god ignorance when do our thoughts of ourselves agree with the word of god christian when we pass 
the same judgment upon ourselves which the world passes to explain myself the word of god saith of persons in a natural condition there is none righteous there is none that that good it saith also that every imagination of the heart of man is only evil and that continually genesis 6:5 romans 3 and again the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth genesis 8:21 now then when we think thus of ourselves having sense thereof then are our thoughts good ones because according to the word of god ignorance i will never believe that my heart is thus bad christian therefore thou never hast one good thought concerning thyself in thy life but let me go on as the word passeth a judgment upon our hearts so it passeth a judgment upon our ways and when the thoughts of our hearts and ways agree with the judgment which the word giveth of both then are both good because agreeing thereto ignorance make out your meaning christian why the word of god saith the man's ways are crooked ways not good but perverse it saith they are naturally out of the good way that they have not known it psalm 125 5 proverbs 2 15 romans 3 12 now when a man thus thinketh of his ways i say when he doth sensibly and with heart humiliation thus think then hath he good thoughts of his own ways because his thoughts now agree with the judgment of the word of god ignorance what are good thoughts concerning god christian even as i have said concerning ourselves when our thoughts of god do agree with what the word saith of him and that is when we think of his being and attributes as the word hath thought of which i cannot now discourse at large but to speak of him with reference to us then have we right thoughts of god when we think that he knows us better than we know ourselves and can see sin in us when and where we can see none in ourselves when we think he knows our inmost thoughts and that our hearts with all its depths is always open unto his eyes also when we think that all our righteousness stinks in his nostrils and that therefore he cannot abide to see us stand before him in any confidence even in all our best performances ignorance do you think that i am such a fool as to think that god can see no further than i or that i would come to god in the best of my performances christian why how dost thou think in this matter ignorance why to be short i think i must believe in christ for justification christian how think thou must believe in christ when you ceased not thy need of him thou neither sees thy original nor actual infirmities but has such an opinion of thyself and of what thou dost and of what thou dost as plainly renders thee to be one that did never see the necessity of christ the necessity of christ's personal righteousness to justify thee before god how then dost thou say i believe in christ ignorance i believe well enough for all that christian how dost thou believe ignorance i believe that christ died for sinners and that i shall be justified before god from the curse through his gracious acceptance of my obedience to his laws or thus christ makes my duties that are religious acceptable to his father by virtue of his merits and so shall i be justified christian let me give an answer to this confession of thy faith 
now believe with a fantastical faith but this faith is nowhere described in the word second thou believe with a false faith because it taketh justification from the personal righteousness of Christ and applies it to thy own third this faith maketh not Christ a justifier of thy person but of thy actions and of thy person for thy actions sake which is false fourth therefore this faith is deceitful even such as will leave thee under wrath in the day of god almighty for true justifying faith puts the soul as sensible of its lost condition by the law upon flying for refuge unto christ unto christ's righteousness which righteousness of his is not an act of grace by which he maketh for justification thy obedience accepted with god but his personal obedience to the law in doing and suffering for us what that required at our hands this righteousness i say true faith accept under the skirt of which the soul being shrouded and by it presented as spotless before god and by it presented as spotless before god it is accepted and acquitted from condemnation ignorance what would you have us thirst to what christ in his own person has done without us what would you have us trust to what christ in his own person has done without us this conceit would loosen the reins of our lust and tolerate us to live as we list for what matter how we live if we may be justified by christ's personal righteousness from all when we believe it christian ignorance is thy name and as thy name is so art thou even this thy answer demonstrate what i say ignorant thou art of what justifying righteousness is and as ignorant how to secure thy soul through the faith of it from the heavy wrath of god yeah thou also are ignorant of the true effects of saving faith in this righteousness of christ which is to bow and win over the heart to god in christ to love his name his word ways and people and not as thou ignorantly imagine hopeful ask him if ever he had christ revealed to him from heaven ignorance what <clears throat> you are a man for revelations i do believe that what both you and all the rest of you say about that matter is but the fruit of distracted brains hopeful why man christ is so hid in god from the natural apprehensions of the flesh that he cannot by any man be savingly known unless god the father reveals him to him ignorance that is your faith but not mine yet mine i doubt not is as good as yours though i have not in my head so many whimsies as you christian give me leave to put in a word you ought not so slightly to speak of this matter for this i will boldly affirm even as my good companion hath done that no man can know jesus christ but by the revelation of the father he and faith too by which the soul layeth hold upon christ if it be right must be wrought by 
the exceeding greatness of his mighty power matthew 11:27 first corinthians 12:3 ephesians 1:17 to 19 the working of which faith i perceive for ignorance thou art ignorant of be awakened then see thine own wretchedness and fly to the lord jesus and by his righteousness which is the righteousness of god for he himself is god thou shall be delivered from condemnation ignorance you go so so fast ignorance you go so fast i cannot keep pace with you do you go on before i must say i must stay a while behind i must stay a while behind then they said well ignorance will thou yet foolish be to slight good counsel ten times given thee and if thou yet refuse it thou shall know ere long the evil of thy doing so remember man in time stoop do not fear good counsel taken well saves therefore here but if thou yet shall slight it thou will be the loser ignorance i will warrant thee